All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the series. Hope everyone's doing well today. We are doing something a little bit different on the challenge. So uh, previously, if you've checked out any of my prior episodes, usually there's the, uh, I don't know, five to 10 second intro uh, sequence that uh, you kind of have to sit through through each and every episode. I think I'm going to try rolling without it for a while just to kind of see what that does to some of my numbers and things like that. Um, so if you're used to that, um, it's gonna go away for a little while uh, across the channel and all the different series and things. And um, you know, if, if I decide that I'm not really seeing any difference, then eventually it'll come back. But for now, um, we'll just spend a little bit more time here doing an intro. So we are, I think, on day eight. It is the morning. I do kind of want to quickly get on the road here, so I won't spend too long talking. But we are headed towards forging in this episode. So we're in. Uh, Trapper's cabin right now, obviously. Ooh, rancid already? 11%? I don't dare eat it. Wow, that was fast. I'm really surprised by that. Um, okay, that's a bummer. Um, so I think I've got everything I need to go over there. I've got uh, some stuff I left behind. Um, I do have one pot. I need water. I still don't have a pry bar. Uh, let's hop out here and I'll keep keep going. Let's just get a, get a move on. Okay, ooh, not great weather to travel in but uh honestly we kind of kind of need to go so um yeah i don't love this at all i'm kind of like having second thoughts here is there anything i can do today do i have any books i could read this book i do need water i could quickly grab some wood around here i just i don't trust this i don't trust that it's not going to turn into a blizzard um almost right away so let's let's rethink today uh, we're gonna have to make water, and that's fine. Um, we just need wood, so let's like go grab some sticks and stuff like that. If there's rabbits up here, I might kill a rabbit or two to to eat. Um, gosh, that's kind of a letdown. I was like all gunned up and, and ready to go, um, and yeah, just not. Uh, I don't I don't trust this weather at all. Yep, here it comes. So I would have gotten basically to the other side of this field and gotten hit with this blizzard. So. Uh, that's the name of the game sometimes, guys, though. You just, you just, uh, you have to deal with what you're given, or, or live with what you're given. So, I'll look at all those saplings. Let's go get those. How much wood do I have? I have 27 sticks, so, I mean, that's a good start. You know, and actually, I know I'm kind of rambling right now, but I'm, I'm being Can't really my feet. indecisive. I'd like to get one of these rabbits, too, to have to eat. So, let's see if I can. <laughs> Okay, thank you for your sacrifice, little buddy. Right, let's grab that, and then let's... Uh, do I have time for this? I really don't. Too cold to think. Let's just do it. Let's just do it and get in. And that way we'll, we'll spend another day recovering. It's not what I wanted to do, unfortunately, but... It's the cards were dealt. Alright, let's run back inside. Where did my rock go? There's one down there. Oh, that's actually, look how far that thing rolled. This is it. Right here. Okay. Uh, shoot, what's that? What is the deal here? Oh. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. If anything, maybe if it gets to, like, the afternoon and it clears up and is a little warmer, then we'll consider traveling. But for now, with only like about half our health, it's just, it's not worth it to me to risk it. So let's throw these down, get these uh, all curing. Uh, am I curing anything else that needs to cure? Not really. We might as well go ahead and store our feathers here. There we go. And I need to take the scrap. I'd like to get another bandage. Maybe we'll go ahead and uh, salvage some of those for uh, bandages. Um, any wood in here? That would be super helpful. No. I need to find food. Can break this down. Forty-five minutes. Um. So I'm. I've. Uh, I guess let me start with, so I, I've kind of made some decisions. I think I'm going to officially stop posting on Mondays. Um, reason, oh, I don't have any matches. Shoot. Q 
can't make water in here today. Hmm, I forgot about that, guys. Yikes. Okay, well, we have one soda. <laughs> just a tiny little bit of water to make it through the day. Uh, I can't even cook that rabbit. We just, just got either. Let's go ahead and harvest him. All I can think about is Shoot. food. Kind of puts us in a tough spot, huh? Uh, maybe the wind's better out there. Let's go take a look. Eat trees. Okay, this is a little better. Do we make a go for it now? Problem is, is I have this rabbit now, and I'm not going to carry the rabbit. Or the guts. Uh, I'll just drop everything. I, I should take this back inside, but let's just make a run for it right now. While we can. Oh, no. <laughs> Rains it pours, guys. Um, shoot. All right, let's just stay here. Let's let's just give it up. We if we go now, we'll be rushing. There's no reason to rush. Give me these. Let's go back inside. Um, boy, I wish I had the uh, bow right now. Could peg him with a rock or two, but that'll just make him angry. All right, drop that stuff. Um, well, what can we do in the meantime? We can read our book, I suppose. Let's eat a cattail, read a chapter. Um, and let me just go back to what I was saying. So I did decide, I think, to stop posting on Mondays. Honestly, it's just too difficult for me to, to reliably do. Um, you would think it's kind of the opposite, like you have all this time on the weekend, but like, you know, I like to go out and, <laughs> and enjoy my uh, weekends, you know, with family or friends or, you know, just I'm, I'm generally away from the home for at least a good portion of Saturday and Sunday most weekends. Or I'm, you know, I'm out in the yard doing some sort of project or something. And, you know, by the end of the day, I'm tired. I don't want to, I don't want to play and that type of thing. Or if I do want to play, I, I just want it to be relaxing and, um, you know, don't want to have to worry about the, the entertainment value, so to speak. Um, so I think I'm going to, yeah, like I said, officially stop posting Mondays. Um, and so what that means though, is I think I'll, I'll do Tuesdays through Fridays, right? So those four days will have an episode of some kind. I'm thinking Tuesdays like today will be interloper. I think Thursday will be interloper. Wednesday will probably be Faithful Cartographer, and then Friday will stay Stranded Deep. And then um, Thursdays previously were like the, kind of the wild card where I might put up a challenge video or, um, you know, I've been playing Ancestors as well. And so I think that I really need to find water today, guys. This, this is not a good scenario. Um, I'm starting to stress about that a little bit. Um, and so I think I might do Saturdays as that wild card day. And so that'll be like a challenge or, a, you know, do I have any flares? I'm, I'm starting to panic a little bit about this water scenario. I might just have to, it's not even bedtime yet. Uh, let's drink the soda. I'm not going to read anymore because that hits my thirst pretty aggressively. Um, yeah, so... That way I can, it, it seems kind of counterintuitive, but uh, week days are generally better for me to record and, and uh, edit and all of that kind of fun stuff. And so I think that that's essentially what, what I'm going to do is basically shift the whole schedule one day. Mondays are just, they're just too, too hard to be consistent for me. Um, yeah, so all that said... I'll still keep a regular posting schedule, everything I need to find a prior wire. I think I know where there might be one. Let's go look. All right, where's the bear? It's a little bit warmer right now. Ooh, okay, he's right there though. I guess we can kind of go up and around that hill. I'm just thinking like while it's a little bit warmer here, like let's go for forlorn so we can get a decent amount of travel in without getting too cold. I can't believe we don't have any matches at this stage. That's that's really going to hinder us. I didn't even think about it. Um, I honestly had kind of forgotten. 
until I tried to go start that fire. I could eat anything. Yeah, I know, you're hungry. You're always hungry. It's never enough with you. Um, all that being said about, like, um, you know, recording schedules and, and not posting on Mondays anymore, um, because it's hard to record on the weekend. I did play this quite a bit over the weekend, and it was the first time that I played in a while for just, like, my personal enjoyment, and it was, it was great. I played, I have that stalker run that I've mentioned a few times, um, and I think I probably played, like, 25 days worth or something like that over the course of the weekend, and I just had a blast. Um, absolutely enjoyed it. I think, for me, I think Stalker is my favorite. Favorite game mode. I think I've landed at that decision. And maybe I've said that before, but... I just enjoy Stalker because it's not so crippling hard that like you can't do anything sometimes like Interloper. Um, you, know, you still have the use of like rifles and, and revolvers and everything. You know, there's a, a pretty decent amount of supplies. Um, all of that kind of stuff in that. So I do think I enjoy Stalker the most. That being said, I know Interloper holds a pretty special special place in everyone's hearts because it is difficult and obviously the entertainment value is a little bit higher here, so um, that's why most of the time if I play Interloper it's usually for the channel. In fact, I don't know that I've ever really done Interloper seriously on my own. Right, let's try and get to the tunnel as quick as possible. I'm just hoping we'll find matches over there, you know? Maybe on the, like by the forge. We'll see. If nothing else. Oh, we don't have a bedroll either. So no, I can't do what I was about to say. It was like if nothing else, we can just jump in the cave to Bleak Inlet and and sleep in there tonight. But we can't do that because I don't have a bedroll yet either, guys. So we have to get to the forge to the bed tonight. Um, so yeah, that's what we're facing. Alright, so I'd like to say that this is half the journey, but it's really not even close. <laughs> we still got a long ways to go. the wind too. So if we turn left though, we should be able to to go a little faster. Ugh, that's the worst, just walking into the headwind like that. Um, and I guess all of that being said about uh, you know, my publishing schedule and stuff like that, I do think I want to try and keep episodes up to about around an hour. Yeah, there's a wolf right there. I'd like to get by him without getting him after us. Oh, he was going the other way, and that was going to... Oh, there he is. was going to work perfectly, but he turned around. <laughs> I see you, buddy. Growl all you want. Alright, well, he, sh he should pretty much just hang out back there. Following us. <laughs> We've done this enough now that uh, I don't think I really have much to fear unless I slow down or anything like that. And chances are we'll be able to lose him too, which would be nice. And there's a snow shelter over here, I think, right, too? Usually. Surrounded by snow, but nothing to drink. I could probably pick up the pace a little bit. Just 
still back die there. If I don't warm up soon. Honestly, if you can get the wolf behind you and you don't have any more ahead of you, then they're really honestly pretty easy to deal with. Um, he'll just follow us until he, we go through something that he can't follow us through, and then we'll get away clean. Um, like, so when it's like one-on-one -on -one with a wolf, as long as you can get him behind you, it's it's just like not really a, a challenge, I don't think. It's just when you come across like two of them, or as you guys have seen me, um, when you just get totally surprised by one, um, that's when you can get into some trouble. I like this guy, he's just gonna chill back there until hopefully he falls through the ice. <laughs> Um, okay. Gosh, I really wish that we could stop off. I mean, we could stop off at the cave, I guess. The problem is, is we just, like, won't... won't be able to lay down or anything like that. We'd be warm. And we kind of need to... Uh, is he still back there? Yeah, he's still back there. I think there's like two caves up here, right? Like there's just your normal cave and then there's like a cave to uh bleak inlet. Not sure which cave this is. Let's try it and see. Oh wow, there's one right there. Interesting. I think this is the cave to Bleak Inlet, so let's just jump in here real quick. Oh, no, maybe. Yeah. Oh, coal. Alright, so I'm just warming up. Can we see anything in here? Do we have a lantern? We do. We don't have a ton of fuel. I mean, it's possible that we could come across some water you know, something, matches or something in here. It's not likely, but it's possible, so I mean, let's like... I can see right now, so I mean, we might as well go to the edge of what we can see and... fingers crossed we find something. Another soda, even. Would help our situation a bit. Pushing it a little bit farther than what I just said. Okay, great. Okay, well, let's try to sleep there tonight. The only thing we need now is something to drink. or some matches. So let's go this way, see what there is to loot, and then we'll come back. I'm trying to hold the water until, like, last minute. Um, is this a dead end? This cave is not a dead end. This goes to Blake Inlet. Hmm, what am I missing, guys? Oh yeah, you have to climb, that's right, that's right. Um, I think I've said it several... How much fuel do we have? Nine. I've said it a handful of times on the channel that, like, I don't... No, like the inside of the caves super well. But this is what I'm hoping so for. Thirsty, so I like, can't think straight. This guy will have either some water or Excellent. tuna. We'll get a little bit of moisture from the tuna up in there. We could use this to start the fire. That's what we did at the outset of the, the run, right? We used a flare to start our first fire. We might have to do that again. We're um, gonna need to rest soon. We're both hungry and thirsty now. Alright, well, we'll turn around here in just a second. I think we'll just go ahead and plan on using the flare at this point. Um, 
kind of running out of options and we need water pretty badly so all right that should be towards the exit towards bleak inlet we don't really want to go there <laughs> um i'm just hoping for a little more more loot and i don't see any so um it's pretty late like i said let's go back to that little natural bed that we found and i'll start a fire there i will go ahead and use the uh flare to do that let's gather up some sticks and things we're burning through a lot of fuel on the lantern here but um, I feel like this is a, ten, a little bit more tense situation than maybe I'm leading it on to be. Because if we don't find water, then I don't think we'll make it through the night. Granted, we do still have a little bit, so maybe that's a little, little aggressive. We do still have a little bit of water. Alright. Let's go down here. There's our bed. I still maintain, too, that you should be able to use the igniter from the lantern to start fires. Right? I have fire right there. I could start it on a piece of tinder or something. So, the flare. I'm probably going to burn some coal, too. It's not really how I saw this trip going, <laughs> but here we are. Come on, come on. And fuel, let's throw a couple pieces of that in there, let's throw our cedar in there. Okay, mission accomplished, I suppose some more sticks there. I'll go grab those. Um, and then let's get some water going right away. Oh, these these uh, marine flares don't last very long at all. I'm surprised. Water. Okay. Okay, and anything I can cook now. So 58 minutes, we have five and a half hours, that's plenty. Um, okay, well, yeah, like I said, not uh, not really how I planned it, but uh, I think we'll get to the forge tomorrow and we'll probably be in a little bit better shape than we would have been coming in tonight, so. Plus, I, I, we'll, we'll confidently be warm in here, whereas like, it, things might have been a little bit dicey out there. So I guess, do we just, let the time pass on this. Um, let's maybe go ahead and eat a little bit. And I guess we could go ahead and drink. Let's do that since we're making more water right now. So that, that wouldn't have got us through the night. Okay. Our little cave refuge. This is actually pretty handy. Um, we'll have to probably rely on this a little bit. What else can we do? Oh, you know what I, I actually did want to do was, didn't I pick up some birch bark? Or is it seven pieces? Let's go ahead and... Uh oh, I need to go over here. Prepared birch bark. 15 minutes. Might as well uh, get that going and then maybe we can make some tea right here. I wish I had a can. If I had a can, that would be... <laughs> As I, I know that I left some cans behind, but... Alright, well, let's just pass the time. I'm too tired to think straight. I know we're tired, but we need to get the water made, dude. Keep ourselves a little bit fed here. Just time an hour and a half. It's really not enough time. Uh, let's go ahead and add some more sticks. 
And then let's do another round. Should be enough. Let's add a few more sticks. Let's get it to three hours. There we go. Because I do want to try and make some tea. Okay. We're not in a great situation right now. Damn it. So hungry. So we would have been at the uh, forge right now in a blizzard, which would have not been fantastic. Uh, tea, right? 10 minutes, so 30 minutes worth of tea. We'll go ahead and probably drink one of these to get the recovery going. It's not herbal tea, but... sliver of water. What's the smallest we can do? 15 minutes. Uh, let's add another stick to get it over 30, and then let's go to bed. Oh wow, it's like the middle of the night. Wow, I wasn't watching that at all. Um, okay, let's do this. So that's 300. That'll be 450. 600. That should be plenty, because we had some to begin with. Yep, 767. Get our 10 hours. See what tomorrow brings. Okay, we are on day nine. Let's get our little bit of water. Don't waste the little bit of fire you have. Take our pot. We need to eat soon. Um, let's see, where's the exit to this place? Here it is. It's nice too because like I could feasibly get in and out of here without uh, any torch or uh, lantern or anything. Got some good recovery going too. Let's go ahead and tack on another cattail just to kind of keep the momentum going there. Okay. Um, well, that buys us a little t bit of time. We we definitely need to figure out the match situation because that if we had not found that flare, uh, we we might have made it through the night with a little bit of water I had, but we would have been scrambling this morning, uh, you know, in the same scenario that we were last night. So mm, that's uh, it's an interesting situation to be in right now. There we go. I do want to kind of tiptoe back in here real quick, and uh, sometimes this works. You go backwards. I want to try and grab some of this coal. Oh, dang it. Too far. All right, turn around. Let's go back. Great. And there's like seven or eight pieces of coal like right at the mouth of this cave. A little bit farther. A little bit farther. Look at all that. Like, I need to get some of that. Is it even going to let me get, like, a hit box on it? That's right. Right next to it. Can I get it? Nope. Well, that's annoying. Super annoying. Um, okay. warming back up all right well let's see there's a couple more caves over there i know um they'll have opportunities to get the coal we need i'm not exactly sure how much coal we need i think it's like seven pieces to get it up to temperature um but uh i'm not exactly sure all right well let's let's go out and see what we can do about that wolf and get by him Alright, first things first, where is he? And then, just to keep you guys happy... I guess I could have made some more of that last night, but I really needed to get to bed. 
sometime when I have downtime, <laughs> so you guys need to somehow remind me through the uh, the video that I need to prepare those. And I do see all the mushrooms right here as well, but um, I want to keep a move on. I want to get through here and over to the forge um, before we get too cold or before we come across the wolf again. So I do, I do see and acknowledge that those are over there, but I'm not going to spend the time right now to collect them. What do we got? Dead guy? Do we go out of our way for him? I think so, just because our, our situation with matches is so desperate right now. I feel like we need to take every opportunity we can to, to find matches. I'm really, really hopeful that there's some at the forge. Nothing on him. Um, although, I think maybe right now, with the sun up, we could probably start the forge with our uh, magnifying glass. At least I'm hoping. And uh, from there, we should be able to boil some more water while we're... Why, while, gosh, while we are forging. Um, and that will just buy us some more time. My stomach is eating itself. I'm looking for coal in here. Tempted to warm up a little bit again. In fact, I think I will. Although it's right on the edge. And there goes our son. Son of a gun, guys. Just cannot catch a break right now. I don't know if that's true. Finding that uh, flare was a pretty big break that we caught. So, Fortunately, it's not like super duper cold out here. It's kind of just like middle of the road. I don't think I've had this much trouble getting the forging done in a while. A lot of it does come down to the match situation. So like right now, even if I get over there, I don't have... I can't start the forge. I can't warm up. I could have done that on the way out, but that's okay. Alright, there's sometimes wolves over here too, so we need to be careful. Stone or is that coal? Those are stones. So I do know also that there's going to be some coal um, at the forge, and then there's the little shack that's down the down the way a little bit. There should be some more over there too. Can't feel my hands. That way, I don't see any. Doesn't mean they're not there. Could be right over this hill. Okay. Alright. Well, moment of truth, guys. Are we going to find any matches over here? see a coat. That's a good start. You want to put that bad boy on right away? That'll come in handy. It's not great shape, but not horrible. Okay, let's do this really quick. Warm up a little bit. Nine degrees, that's a pretty good buff. First one is a strike. Oh, right there. Awesome. Oh, that's a relief. Such a relief. That uh, pretty much secures our future. Here's some boots. Work boots. They're not in great shape, I can tell already, but let's go ahead and put those on. I bet they're better. They are. A little bit wet. That's interesting. Too much stuff to carry. Scrap. Sewing kit. 
tons of coal on the ground. There's a book. We'll grab that here in a minute. Uh, some wood. This probably takes an hour and a half to break down. It's too long. About this. One hour and a half. I want to do this just to get uh, back to the safe. So that was like 46. Let's go back around. Okay, that was like 29, 30. Let's go back around. 46 to 30. And let's see what we get. Hopefully there's something crazy in here. Another Mackinac would be nice. Okay, so that was like five. So 46.35. I go all the way around. kind of funny that I feel like this happened before and there was actually not another safe let's try it though just for okay so that that was like 25 let's go back around we'll stop at 25 and see okay Okay, 25, 54. Oh, I thought we had to go all the way around again. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's my fault, guys. Am I? What's the deal here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so I think it's a little actually past 25. I think it's like 27 or so. Yeah. 28. Okay, let's go to 55 and stop. Okay, 54. So like 27, 54. And 34. Alright. Let's crack this bad boy open. I just like, I feel like we did this last time and then there like wasn't actually a second safe. It was just like a glitch or something. 25, 54, and then what, like 34, did we decide? Okay. Thank oh, you. Take it back. Got us a bottle of syrup. We got three bottles of syrup right now, guys. Got our sugar intake for sure. Um, all right, what time is it? It's just about nighttime. Do we go ahead and forge? What do you guys think? Pretty warm out here, honestly. Like, okay, so let's see how much coal we have. How much coal are we carrying? We need to eat that one syrup probably tonight because it's nine percent. So we have two, three, four, five. I believe there's some out back. I think I need seven. Six, seven, right there. Seven, and then let's uh, let's go down to the little shed. I know that there's some down there, and let's just get it just in case we have. We need a little bit extra. There is some. I'm so glad we found those matches. I was I was really starting to think this might be a pretty short run. Okay, let's 
So there's one. Yeah, plenty. We got plenty now. We are overweight, but um, I really wanted to get down to the next building. I think we might scrap that plan, just because I'm pretty slow right now, getting pretty tired. We always go check it out in the morning. cold tonight. We should make a pretty good recovery. I think let's try to sleep tonight, through the night, and then we'll start the fire in the morning. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That way we don't throw our like sleep cycle off too much. And then have to like recover. Did I search this locker? Oh, I didn't search the toolbox. No, I haven't, but I don't have a pry bar. You should be able to open those with a hatchet. Really, probably a knife, too, right? Like, I should be able to go just start wailing in that lock on there. Okay, well, let's, uh, isn't there some food in here, too, usually? Let's check back here. Yep. Okay. Is any of that in bad shape? It's just the syrup right now that's doing pretty bad. Grab the note. Take it. Getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Okay, let's go ahead and do I eat? Oh wow, that's. Did I like accidentally eat that? I'm just confused. Why is that only? Why is that so small? What's the story on that? Oh, my stomach. Okay, that's fantastic. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. I just need to close my eyes. Okay, well, let's eat the other one. I honestly, I didn't think you got food food poisoning from those. Maybe that's what I did last time too. I don't remember. Fortunately, we've got some antibiotics. So it can't get below what 33 degrees or 23 degrees. I'm sorry. So let's do. We're just gonna. Let's sleep in increments tonight, I think, is what we're going to have to do. So we'll sleep like four hours, and then check the temp, and then sleep another four hours. If it gets too cold, we'll run for one of the caves. No, <laughs> we're one degree away. Let's just do a couple hours. This is not the best way to sleep, but honestly, it kind of works out with food poisoning because we wouldn't be getting any condition back anyway from from the food poisoning. So sleeping in chunks like this really isn't going to bother us too much. Yeah, it is colder, but it's not cold. We might be able to hang on and make it um, to morning. So let's do another couple. If we get too nervous, we'll move. But I think right now we're okay. Uh, it got colder. Colder still. Eventually that 18 should go up though. 27, 26, nope. Okay, well we might head for a cave. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Uh, I'll be close to see if we're even warm enough there. 
Let's uh, hop under here and see. I think these are a little bit warmer underneath. Oh, we're at 17 degrees. Alright, let's head for a cave. We got to. Am I still heavy? I am. What can I drop? Let's drop the coal. At least most of it, because we could actually Wait. use it to start a fire to save us if we need I'm to. I'm so cold. I'm warming up again. Drop all of that. Drop this. Just drop like half. Need to get a move on here. 11 degrees. Oh, my stomach. Oh, we hurts. didn't even recover from that yet. Oh, it hurts. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, let's start a fire. Let's just start a fire. That's our easiest, most straightforward way out of this. Alright, so let's light our torch somewhere. Where's our torch? We'll just start forging now. Yeah, I don't know why that took me so long to arrive at that solution, but that's our best option. Come on, come on. I've never been so hungry in my life. Okay. It worked. Put this out. Piece of coal. So let's go jump in the bed. Yeah, we're good. It's always something, guys. Okay, well, we're warm. What time is it? Did I heal from food poisoning? Not yet. I need one more hour of sleep. Let's go ahead and just check our fire real quick. How much time? An hour, nine minutes. Let's throw some sticks in there. I don't want it to go out, um, so that way we can just use it to start forging when the morning comes. Oh no, I need to sleep. Gosh dang it. So we should be done with food poisoning. Great. Okay, let's get to, let's get to forging. Add fuel. Coal. Let's grab the rest of our coal. Did you say he needs to find food. Um, what was I thinking? Let's drink a tea, one of our birch bark teas, just to give us a little more condition. That'll give us some calories too. And then you know what I'm not doing that I should be? Is making water. Just using the fire while it's here. Taking advantage of the fire that we already have going. So it has to be what? 270. We're at 2... we're almost there. 10 degrees to go. Oh, just perfectly. Okay, how much time do we have? Seven hours. Um, let's go ahead and put some food in our belly. Uh, just to keep ourselves going a little bit while we're forging. And, uh, let's see. Three hours. Alright, how many calories does that take? Oh, let's just go for it. Oh, my water. Shoot. Okay. Well, that's alright. I forgot all about that. How much time left? Four hours? Uh, don't I have some cedar? I do. I could eat anything right now. Sticks go in. So we got the the knife done. Let's get the axe done here. Four hours. I wish you could chunk it like two and two. That way I could do water. I'd eat 
anything. Okay. What time we got left? Three hours. A little bit of work. rest. Okay. Alright, so now we should be able to make some water. Because I'm just going to do arrowheads now. And those, if I do, what, two at a time? Then I'll be done by the time the water is ready to go. Alright, let's go. Begin crafting. I didn't yeah. dial it up. Oh well, that's fine. So hungry. Begin crafting. Okay. Wow, we already burned through a lot of water, so I'm glad that we're making some. Take it. I'm feeling so drained. Yeah, this part's gonna be a little rough. We're probably gonna lose some condition and get pretty pretty low, but I think we'll be okay. We gotta make we gotta make these so it's not really like negotiable, so to speak. Select, do four, two hours, begin crafting. Oh dang it. Did I not start it or what happened there guys? Mmm, that frustrates me. Alright, I want to do at least one more run of those. So we need to get some more wood in there. Okay. I don't know if I started it, honestly. One hour until melted. Alright, let's just go to doing them one at a time. All I can think about is food. Dusk. Okay. 59 minutes there. Select. So it should be just starting to be drying out. Yeah. Okay, how much water do we have? Gallon and a half. That's probably enough. How much time do we have left? an hour. So we could go ahead and make two more. I think let's do it. We're here. And actually, you know what I'll probably do is start that. Um, let's go ahead and make the two arrows. And then um, hmm, trying to decide. Alright, so need an hour. We have, what, 54 minutes? So let's grab Stick and some reclaim. I'm I'm kind of like contemplating just throwing everything else in there and then sleeping here. Oh, what did, what did I just put in there? My torch. Can I take a torch? Yeah. Let's put it out though. I didn't mean to do put the torch in there. Uh, I think yes. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's get us a fire. To drop some gear. Rest the last. Gosh, last the rest of the night and. Uh, and we'll hit the road out in the morning. Okay, seven hours, man. Okay. I never thought I'd be dying from starvation. So we came up with 14 arrowheads. I could make more. I have more scrap, but that's probably plenty. All right, let's go ahead, and I'm going to hit the T. Just get a good recovery tonight. That gives us, what, 10% back. Um, so we burned through all that tea on this little escapade, but I'm okay with that. Got two gallons of water on us. We only used one match for all of that. I'm pretty satisfied with the way this has gone. Okay, let's uh, go to bed. Got our 10 hours. Actually, let's go ahead and just do... Let's do eight, and we'll check how we're doing. Oh, I didn't drink water. Gosh dang it. Let's 
silly of me. Yeah, we didn't really recover at all because of that. I'm gonna need to eat soon. How much time we got left? 44 minutes. We'll try and catch like another hour of sleep. Fire's burned out. So let's gather up everything and uh, we'll get out of here. Do I leave my extra scrap here? Let's leave a couple of them. Oh, that's still going. Just barely. But let's grab our pot. Let's grab this book. We never did search this. And then I want to go search that shed. I said we'd do that. Coming handy. Um, and we haven't yet. So, man, we're just right over the line. Do I really need the sulfur? Just what can we leave? Use our cans. Never been so hungry in my life. Um, I don't know if we'll make it out there. I don't wanna. I don't wanna mess with it. Are we warm in here at all about the fire? We are, but the fire's still going. Is it? Just barely. It's dropping right now. Okay, we gotta go. It's too cold for this, we gotta move. Um, we're gonna hustle. We're gonna go back to the Bleak Inlet Cave and uh, hop in there and, and try and kind of let this... I don't know if this is gonna be a blizzard or what, what's happening here, but we're gonna let this pass. And I think you can hear it too from that cave, so it'll be good. But hey, we got our knife, we got our hatchet, we got uh, plenty of arrowheads. Um, we're, we're in business now, guys. We have some matches, magnifying glass. There's really not much at this point standing in our way except for weather. Oh, is that a... There's another lantern right there. Okay, I'll take it. We already have one, but that one might be in better shape. Plus, it uh, gives us a little bit of extra fuel. I need to drop something. Oh, there's a maple sapling down there. Wouldn't mind going to get that. We'll see. Maybe in the morning when we leave God here. Goddamn freezing. So I think this first cave is not the right cave, but we might still stop at it to warm up for a second. And kind of leapfrog our way over to the transition cave where we know we'll be warm. No, I don't know. I might as well just keep going because it's like right on the other side of that hill. Would be nice to get some more sticks built up. Okay, well, guys, we forged. I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna step for mushrooms right now. Unless we have ten of them on us. We could go ahead and prepare those. Might be something I'll do while I'm stuck in this cave up here for probably a good chunk of today. I think what I'll do is I'll probably pass time until it's close Weak. till the end of the day when it's kind of that almost like golden warm hour and then uh, if it's still cold I'll stay, if it's warm we'll go. That's kind of what I'm planning. Regardless, we're here. 
All that coal on the ground. So I think what you would need to do is like get up close to that coal without getting the like actually leaving the the region and then like turn around and pick it up to where you're not facing the the exit so it doesn't say you know leave forlorn muskeg um and then you'd be able to pick it up but it's just like way too it, it would be like that one piece that you could reach and the rest of them are way too far in um okay let's get back to our little cozy cubby back here in the dark I just hang out here. Should be fine on like cabin fever because we've been outside for what a couple nights we spent there. Some coal right there. Nope, it's just a rock. I guess it would have been nice to keep some of that coal, but we could probably find some in here if we looked hard enough. That way, like if I needed to start a fire outdoors, I had some. I didn't really think about that at the time, but we're alive and we, we got everything done, so I'm not gonna complain. Um, anyways, guys, I know it's pitch black right now, but we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this episode up for today. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm probably just going to hang out in here most of the day. I'll probably do what I said. Um, I'll check at the end of the day if it's travel worthy. If it is, then um, you know I'll start the next episode there. Otherwise, I'll just sleep through the night here, and we will uh, pick up here next time on our way back to uh, Mystery Lake. So... Appreciate you uh, checking out the episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to uh, give the episode a like. Leave any comments and things you guys have for me in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would just ask you to go ahead and do that for me. Um, helps me just continue to grow and uh, just, yeah, lets me know that I'm doing the right thing. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you tuning in and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks.